This is day 26 of Hoop Arena's hula hoop videos, but instead of hula hooping for you today, I'm going to give you a tour of my house and all the things that make me hoopy. Starting with this. This is from Harmony Park. Javon got it for me for my birthday last year. <laughs> Um, a sign I use for my birthday parties. I do birthday parties with hula hoops. Let me know if you want more information about them. This is all my tape. I have so much tape. It's for making hula hoops for my community ed classes and also for the farmer's market this summer. So if you need a hula hoop, let me know. And if you need lessons, let me know. I am now teaching 10 hula hoop classes a week. 10, it's crazy. I can't believe that that's the most I've ever taught. We're gonna move in a circle because I like circles. These are the hula hoops that have taken over our house. Javon loves it. A couple orders right there for my classes, including a ribbon hoop. Um, here's some more of my hula hoops. Some LEDs made by DJ Hoopster. I'm trying to turn them on. Also known as Paige Wagner. Very pretty. I made this hula hoop last summer. It's a fabric hula hoop with tassels tied around it. It's good if you have a lot of scraps to get rid of. It just takes a really long time to make. It's about 200 pieces of fabric or more. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Moving in a circle. We have this aluminum hula hoop lady right here. Jeremiah made that one. Isn't she cute? All her friends. This painting was given to me by Zach Gessler. I think he got it in Madison, Wisconsin. Little hula hoop lady there too. I love it. Sparkly. And my gnome. My gnome helps me at the farmer's market, so if you're ever in the Midtown Farmer's Market area in Minneapolis, stop by on the last Saturday of every month this summer. He'll be here, I'll be there, he'll be holding my business cards for me. Thank you, gnome. This brings us to the kitchen, where I'm boiling water to make some hula hoops. And I have a hula hoop painting, homemade, draw, or painted by Julie Fisher. And it's one of my favorites. She did this at Harmony Park a couple summers ago at Project Earth, and it's lovely. Place of inspiration, Harmony Park. Thanks, Julie. This brings me to my back porch where my cats are enjoying the sun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have a fire hoop out here made by Ephraim. I have two actually from him. Ephraim Bloom made these. It's a collapsible six prong fire hoop. The other one's in my car. And I swear I'm gonna do a hula hoop video soon. Um, some minis I haven't taped yet. A travel hula hoop I made in uh, Guatemala. Yeah, Javon and I went to Guatemala and I had to make some hula hoops while I was there. This cheap target hula hoop that I never like to use. Um, some aluminum hula hoops. Aren't they pretty? They're perfect circles. But they do make a lot of noise. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Next, we are going to go to the front porch where I have all my work cut out for me. Thanks to Mr. Fun and Menards, I have a ton of hula hoop tubing that I need to start making hula hoops out of. So that'll keep me busy for quite some time. In the meantime, I think I'll do a sun dance with my hula hoop outside so the snow melts and spring can start already. Thanks everyone for watching my videos.